Mission start! today and uh, what we're gonna do for you guys is upon popular demand a open SSH video and so here with me we have my iPhone 3GS and an open window of Cyberduck and what we're gonna do today is show you how to log into your iPod which has been giving people a little bit of trouble. trouble yeah so first of all what people some people don't don't know and they just figure that the iPhone can automatically do is open SSH which is what you need to go into Cydia and download. So we're going to go ahead and open up Cydia and uh, basically what we're going to do is just open, download one package. It's really simple and uh, then you will be able to access your iPod open SSH wise but if you cannot, if you don't download the package then you, uh, you can't do it. And that's but, um, you don't use Cyberduck on Windows computers. Yeah, no. If you're on a Windows um, XP or Vista computer or any other, I guess, that runs this, but there's WinSCP and it looks something like what we have here on our computer, slightly different, but it's basically the same idea and how you log in and what you do uh, will be relatively the same. And so, um, we're going to go into search and go to open SSH and here it is and I already have it uh, installed but and there you can see the little icon and basically what you would do is you go into up here where it says modify for me and say install and go ahead and click install and it will install and you may have to reboot your iPod for or iPod or iPhone but I forget and so that's basically all you need to do with that and so once that's up what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into settings and this is nothing you're gonna yeah just settings then general auto lock and make sure you switch it to never because what with with open SSH if your iPod or iPhone goes to sleep to conserve battery it will shut down the connection and you'll lose whatever file transfer or whatever you're trying to do so make sure you go to never you can always change that back and um, or to anything else that's conserve battery but basically you need to have that up and so now we are ready to go over to Cyberduck and uh, set things up so as you can see I already have a bookmark here and so we're basically going to go off that and we're going to edit this bookmark just for the purposes of this video to keep things quick but I can always make another one so uh, basically it's going to ask you uh, basically what you want to do and so what you're going to do is you're going to go to SFTP SSH file transfer protocol and uh, for the nickname I'm going to name it my iPhone 3GS make the 3G G big and then uh, your server will be your IP address on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into Settings, General. Then you're going to go into wherever wi or not Settings General Wi-Fi Settings Wi-Fi, and you're going to go into your Wi-Fi network. Hit that little blue arrow up on the side, and it will display for you your IP address. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. And my IP address is, as you can see, right next to IP address. And so we're going to go ahead and change that last digit to a 7. It should look something like this, the 192.168, depending on where you are or uh, what kind of server you have. And then also we're going to go over to the port. And whatever this is, change it to 22. And your username will be root, R-O-O-T, no matter what iPhone you have. And the first time you're going to log on, I think this is the first time I'm logging on with this new phone, uh, it will take a little while to connect, and uh, but it will work, so be patient. So we're going to go ahead and click enter, and we're going to save this. And we're going to go ahead and connect to the server. It's going to do a little bit of loading. And then what should happen is a dialog box will open up and basically ask us if we would like to uh, save these settings. But it will take a few seconds to set up so be patient and do not give up and X out of the application. <laughs> Shh. 
Should we should we beatbox? I, I I really don't think beatboxing we did, we would be beatboxing in my class. A great. You can just skip this section of the video. It'll it'll pick up in a second. Connection failed. No, it, it retries. Okay. Yeah. Remember, don't give up hope. Never give up. Never give. Up. Okay, we're done. We're done. Oh. We're done. It's not the venue. Not the venue. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. So, how long do you think this is gonna take if people are actually still watching this? Um, it takes about a minute, and there is what is gonna go down. Um, it's gonna give you whatever this is. Ignore that. Just say always allow. And then it says it's trying to try again. And this time it will go much faster. And there you go, now you're into your iPhone or iPod Touch. And now what you can do is you can go all the way up. And yeah, here's all your little folders. And so for other videos, you can navigate to the directories that we tell you or basically edit themes or whatever you want to do. So I think if there's nothing else you have to add, Denzel, I think that's all. Do I ever have anything to add? No, you don't. I just asked because I'm hoping one day... One day, Denzel. There will be one day. Alright, well, guys, um, this has been a quick video on how to use OpenSSH. And if you guys have any more questions, have some issues you run into, go ahead and leave them in the comments. PM us, preferably PM us so we can you know, make sure we get to those. Because we have quite a few comments that we have to sift through. But, you know, whatever. Do what you got to do. And uh, I think that's all. Yep. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Goodbye.